So if you are a PHC doctor, primary health center doctor, minimum 100 out of 200 marks you should get. So there is a internal understanding between examiners and the government doctors that minimum 100 questions must be like aldosterone question. But the real fight which decides the seat is decided by after 100 ke baad another 50 questions which are predictable, easy, repeated MCQs from the very high yielding topics. Small 150 questions will be tricky. Don't worry about those 50. And whenever you are recalling the MCQs and writing the paper and you found already 50 wrongs, better leave it and then go for a movie. Right? So, don't forget on Monday evening 5 to 8 p.m. we will have a, a, a APPG, TGPG a paper discussion. Um, and uh, we will sort out how many questions came from the very high yielding topics. Stop 20, I will bet it. 80% paper will be from that, no doubt. Every year, predictably, the same thing keeps happening. But the only thing is, students will realize the importance of uh, at least revising the top uh, 20 to 30 topics in the high yield topic list given in every subject, 19 subjects. They won't realize it until exam. After exam, they will find uh, maybe we would have at least read that for at least 200 hours, we would have got the seat. So that regret should not be there. Okay, doctor. So aldosterone reabsorption of sodium excretion of potassium. You have seen recent entrance, Jipmer, Ames, Harek mein ek obesity aur appetite ke baare mein MCQ hota hai. So, if you look at leptin, melanocyte stimulating hormone and glucagon related peptide, they are all appetite decreasing factors whereas neuropeptide Y is the one which basically is the appetite increasing factor is what you have to basically remember. So, NPY ergic activity, you require NPY agonist which will increase the food intake is what you have to ultimately remember. So, the neurons which regulate the appetite are mainly what serotogenic and also they, uh, there are two things. One is called agouti related peptide, AGRP. Recently, we had an MCQ in the Kerala entrance. Neuropeptide Y, these two are also uh, related. Now, doctor, um, what pseudo group is Leptospira for Beals disease? It is called Leptospira icterohemorrhagica. So, this is when you get jaundice, you get thrombocytopenia, you get bleeding diathesis, etc., etc., is what you have to basically remember. Then, doctor, with regard to the bacterial vaginosis. Polymicrobial infection, clue cells, vaginal pH, alkaline, they are all true. Thick white curdy discharge is candidal. So, this is very easy MCQ. For whom this is? PHC doctor or examiner ke beech mein samjhota hota na? O account mein chale jata hai question. Huh? Then, in India, what are the predominant species of this shigala? It is the shigala. Flexinirai. What is the most sensitive test for the cryptococcal meningitis? It is the latex agglutination, not the India ink. You answered India ink? Huh. So, this is a favorite MCQ. Oh, 50 wala questions for the high yield topics may previously asked MCQ. Usme aa jata hai. Eh? You should not lose questions like this. One hypersensitivity will definitely come. When antigen is fixed, antibody free floating and hit the antigen, you call it as type 2. When antigen is free, antibody is also free, they form an immune complex and go and deposit, you call type 3. And delayed hypersensitivity is type 4, immediate hypersensitivity, IgA mediated is type 1, as all of you know very well. Q fever is coxial bernicii. Bernicii is what need to be remembered. Out of the thromboidics, which is the most clot specific, alteplase. 
but APPC examiner is not going to be that easy going. He will give you alta place, reta place, tenaka place, tenaka place, and as which is most out of all, it is the tenaka place which is most highly fibrin specific is what you have to remember. Once more, what is the deal? Warfarin, heparin, aspirin, clopidogrel, antiplatelets, antithrombotics, thrombolytics. Without a question, there is no question paper. You have to be 100 percent sure. Which agent will lead to flaccid paralysis of the worms? What is your answer, doctor? Let me ask our online students. Depp is asking, is culture not most sensitive? Culture is specific, not sensitive. Huh? Yeah. What is your answer, doctor? Depp, Sassy, Girish, Sardana, Sangeeta, Kiran. What is your answer for flaccid paralysis of the bomb? Let me check. Right? Yes, doctor. You like to say D? Um, Lucky and Sardana are saying dietyl carbamazine, D. Depp is saying D, niclosamide. Nobody said piperazine, piperazine. So piperazine increases the chloride ion conductance on the muscle membrane. It leads to hyperpolarization, reduced excitability that lead to muscle relaxation and flaccid paralysis of the organism is what you have to basically remember. In Parkinsonism, what is the dopamine receptor agonist? Ropinirol is the one which is the dopamine receptor agonist. It is also used for restless leg syndrome that can be an MCQ in the tomorrow's exam. So, Pramiprixol, Gabapentin also are suggested for the restless leg syndrome is what you need to remember. For the induction of anesthesia, what is the rule? If propofol is in the options, propofol is the answer is what you have to basically remember. Definitely one question will be asked. Milk of amnesia is the name given for the propofol. Because it is white colored one. Right? Ah, this is another PHC and examiner samjata ke kota mein a jayega a question. Even a school kid will answer who is preparing for ABC, Kaun Banega Karodpati show. Dry cough is not a problem with the receptor antagonist like Losatan is what you need to remember. Let me tell you doctor, one ab wala question, monoclonal antibody hota na, ek ab, every entrance you go, you will have. 14 abs hai, 6 abs nahi, 14 abs hai. Oh, 14 abs, Wikipedia mein mil jayega aapko, oh list. 14 abs, barabar, which ab is monoclonal antibody against what and where is it used? Tips mein rena. ABPG, TGPG entrance mein ek monoclonal antibody question aange ya to, you will remember me in exam hall. Right doctor? 180 questions you will remember me while answering if you attended our mock test out of 200. Aray, us din, us class mein, us, us test mein aaya hai. Past four, 15 years we had been into the same business. So we know what examiner want. Right doctor? So, um, omaluzumab as what you can see here is a monoclonal antibody which is humanized. Once more examiner kabhi kabhi kai se puchta. Chimeric antibody kya hai? Humanized antibody kya hai? You need to be very sure about. It is used in allergic asthma. It is against the immunoglobulin E is what you need to basically remember. And uh, what is this called? It is natalizumab. What is natalizumab? Natalizumab is against the cell addition molecule which is the alpha 4 integrin is what you need to basically remember. <clears throat> Lucky says video freeze, but I think uh, that should not be the problem for others. 
not all lizumab typically is used in the treatment of multiple sclerosis and Crohn's disease. It is against the alpha 4 integrin. Tocilizumab is another option which was given to you. It is used in rheumatoid arthritis and juvenile idiopathic arthritis. It is interleukin 6 receptor antagonist. It is also used in multiple myeloma and prostate cancer. Then Ecolizumab which is available famously as Soliris brand name. Ecolizumab is once for the humanized one. It is active against the terminal complement inhibitor and is used in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is what you have to basically remember. Now what is the action of prostacyclin? Vasodilatation and inhibition of the platelet aggregation is the action of prostacyclin. In septic shock unlike the other forms of shock, if you take hypovolemic shock etc, what is our homeostatic mechanism? We know constriction to maintain the BP. To maintain the BP. <clears throat> then a septic shock is the only shock which is hyperdynamic circulation due to vasodilatation from the inflammatory mediators which are vasodilators. So today afternoon 3 to 7 you have some more topics in ENT which were not covered in the last Sunday. Why not option? Uh, answer should be B. Oh, answer should be Oh, A and B. Both are right. Maharashtra state entrance examiners uh, uh, straight away. But uh, what is the deal? Three, four questions the wrong hona hai na examiner ke paper may be. So A and B become equally good and correct. Huh? 